In the last video I talked a little bit about heat pumps and just some very basics. Now we're going to talk about comparisons of a heat pump with other heating systems for efficiency. Heat pumps run electricity. That's the only source of power they have. I'm not talking about absorption systems. We're not getting into those in this one. But mechanical refrigeration, air conditioning, heat pumps have to run off electricity. Let's say in the area where I live and I'm considering a heat pump, natural gas is available and electricity is produced by steam generators that are fired by natural gas. Would it be energy efficient for me to use a heat pump? Now remember I told you a heat pump can be as high as 400% efficient in very mild temperatures. So wouldn't that be better than using natural gas? Well, number one, you'd have to live in a really mild temperature area because its efficiency drops as the temperature drops. Number two, in order to make that electricity, we actually have to burn natural gas make steam, run it through turbines, and make electricity, and then distribute it. Okay, there's losses in all that. Most steam plants are going to run from turning heat from a burned fuel into mechanical motion. It's going to be about 30% efficient. Some of them are bumping up a little higher than that now, but they're never going to be real high. It just can't happen. It's part of thermodynamics. And you're going to lose 70% of it right off the bat. Then you take the line losses, which could be about 10%. You can see where I'm going. Chances are that if I am using electricity that's generated from burning natural gas it's going to be more expensive and less energy efficient than actually burning the natural gas to heat my structure if it's available. This is one of the things you got to look at. Uh, let's compare it to electric heat. Well electric heat and heat pumps you know it all comes from the same stuff so should I use an electric furnace or a heat pump? Well, actually, you should use both. Electric furnace is going to have an efficiency of about 100%. It's actually a little bit below that, but because there's no stack loss, it's pretty close to 100%. The heat pump is going to have higher efficiency because, uh, because it's compression and refrigeration, and that there's no direct relationship between the amount of heat energy I put into it and the heat energy I get out because my source is not the electricity, my source is the outside air. So the outside air, depending on its temperature, is going to determine the efficiency of the pump. So if I had a choice of a heat pump and uh, electric, a heat pump wins hands down more expensive, doesn't last as long, but it will always be more efficient than electric heat. Comparing it to say fuel oil. Well fuel oil, it all depends on what the the cost of fuel oil is at that time. Fuel oil is not as regulated like natural gas is, so the price of it varies you know throughout the year usually. In general, if my electricity is produced from, say, hydroelectric, it's probably going to be cheaper to operate the heat pump than the oil furnace. But if my electric is produced by crude oil, uh, number two, diesel, then I have the same situation I had with natural gas not going to be uh, a really sensible alternative.
Now I'm not going to make any other comparisons to like wood heat or coal heat or anything like that because it, there, the efficiencies are not, it's, it's hard to get the efficiencies uh, from, those, uh, from those fuel sources. But heat pumps, yeah, they can be more efficient. They are more efficient than electric heat. And I say if, if everything was hydropower or wind, uh, electric might be the way to go, you know, with a heat pump. It's the most efficient use of electric energy, if that's the energy you have available. The next one, we're going to talk a little bit about how heat pumps are put together and their operation.